Hi there. Today I'm going to teach you how to play Launchpad 23, one of the many games you can play with a copy of Pyramid Arcade. Now, in Launchpad 23, we're building rockets. Unfortunately, rocket parts roll out of the factory on a random basis. A roll of the dice determines which rocket part we'll get next. The object of the game is to build a five-stage rocket using five pieces that are the same size but all different colors. For this game, you'll need the Launchpad 23 board, or any 3x3 grid will do, the pyramid die, the color die, and two pyramid trios for each of the five colors on the color die. To set up the game, just stack the pieces like this to make a bank, and place the board evenly between all players. Launchpad 23 is a game for two to four players, and it takes about 15 to 20 minutes to play. The person who can best make the claim of being a rocket scientist goes first. Now, during the game, we'll call the board the Launch Complex, and as you can see here, the center spot is called the Factory. That's where the pieces are going to appear each turn. There's also one launch pad on each corner of the board. If less than four people are playing, the extra launch pads are treated as ordinary pink spaces, otherwise known as storage depots, which anyone can move into. They're useful for storing pieces you don't want and don't want to give to another player. To begin, each player chooses which launch pad will be theirs. Then we also have a little ritual to determine which piece we will each start with. Each player takes a piece of each size small, medium, and large, and then from those they're going to choose one that will be their starting piece, and they hold it in their hand like this. And then each of us reveals what we have, and then that becomes the piece we start with at the beginning of the game. So I'm starting with a large, but that doesn't mean I have to build with larges for the whole game. Depending on what parts roll out of the factory, I might decide to switch to mediums or smalls, but the important thing to remember is that my rocket has to have all five pieces of different colors and the same size. If they're not, when I try to launch my rocket, it'll explode and I'll have to start all over. On your turn, you'll roll the dice. This will determine what piece randomly appears in the factory, and it will also determine how many moves you will get. Each turn, you're going to have two, three, or four moves. So in this case, I'm going to add a large blue to the factory, and I have two moves. One and two, because both landed on a standard option. If I were to roll a special action on either die, I would get an additional move. So if my color die landed on wild, I would be able to choose any of the five colors and have an additional move. And if my pyramid die landed on a side with doubles, I would gain another additional move. All pieces move one space per move, regardless of size, and any piece can be moved except for the ones on an opponent's launch pad. Now let's say I'm working with larges, and I roll a medium large of yellow, giving me three moves and a choice between a medium and a large piece. Now, I already have a large yellow in my rocket, so it can't help me, but I can use it to junk up my opponent. They're building with mediums, so I could help them out, but why would I want to do that? I'll choose a large and move it, one, two, into their rocket. This technically leaves me with one more move, but there's nothing for me to do with it, so it just goes away. At the end of each turn, the pieces in the rocket are organized large to small. This is mostly for visual convenience, so that you can see what all the pieces inside are, but it also makes the stack look more like a rocket. This also doesn't affect what pieces can or cannot be moved, as you can take any piece out of a tower, not just the one on top. For this example, Let's say I'm building with smalls, and all I need to win is a small red. I roll the dice and I get a small medium red, but my opponent has taken all the small reds, leaving none in the bank. This is called a parts shortage, and when it happens, I have a few options. I could go forward with a medium, but since I'm building with smalls, of course I don't want to do that. I have the ability to re-roll one time, but I already rolled the piece I need, it's just not available. Fortunately, there is a third option, which is to steal a piece from my opponent, taking it and placing it on the factory. I then have three movement points, two of which I'll use to move the piece onto my own launch pad, completing my rocket, and successfully blasting off! Yay! 
you have to make the rocket noises or else your win is invalidated. Now, just a couple more things before you're ready to play. No diagonal moves are allowed. So I can do this and this, but not this. Finally, if your rocket is so cluttered that it would be easier just to start over, you can. This is called a total systems failure. It takes one move and puts every piece you have on your launch pad back into the bank. And that's how you play Launchpad 23. Thanks for watching, and thanks for playing my games.